Hey Heights Church, it's Becky Sweeney here. My husband is the lead pastor here at Heights Church and I'm also the receptionist in the office. So it's great to be back with you in Summit Up Devotions and we're focusing on experiencing God in the Psalms. And today we're going to look at Psalm 119. Now this Psalm um, is, has an anonymous author it's very long. In fact, it may even be the longest chapter in the Bible, but it certainly is the longest psalm. And the theme of this psalm is God's word, the beauty of God's word. It's a meditation and a, it's a repetitive meditation. So we're going to look specifically at a few verses. So first of all, we're going to look at verse 11. And this says, your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. And then I'd like to take a look at verse 104 and 128. And they both say almost the same thing. They say, I gain understanding from your precepts. Therefore, I hate every wrong path. Again, because I consider all your precepts right, I hate every wrong path. So this is giving us the idea that when we have God's word hidden in our heart and we know God's word in our mind and our heart, that it helps us to identify the wrong way. And it reminds me of just recently speaking with a wonderful college student at our church and their story about how God guides them and how God's word practically helps them make decisions in their lives. And we were talking about novels and books we like to read and literature and how much we like to read. And this person told me that they love to read, but if they start to read something and then they experience sexual content or, uh, or a certain amount of suggestiveness that uh, internally and in their mind, they sense that it is not for them. They discern that wrong path and they close the book and they go no further and they don't finish the book. And I thought, what a great practical example of hiding God's word in our heart. God's word, when we have it in our heart and this isn't just a list of rules right because we're made righteous through god's righteousness our righteousness is as filthy rags but yet god wants us to live and to discern the right way that's how good he is that's how loving and he tells us when you have your word on your on your heart when you have my word excuse me on your heart it keeps you from every evil path it alerts you and then one of the benefits we see later in the Psalm in 119 verse 32, and listen to these words. I run in the path of your commands for you have set my heart free. There's freedom in walking in this path. God's not trying to restrict us. He's trying to help us. He helps us by instructing us. God is so practical in his love for us that he gives us life skills through his word and they help us to run. They help us to have peace. They help us to walk in a path of freedom. Aren't you glad for that today? Psalm 119, a praise of God in his word, his instructions to us. We can be thankful and walk safely in them. Okay, church, I love you today. It's good to be with you. I'm praying for you. Pray for us. Pray for our church. God bless you.